If you'll allow me, I'll take you to your ship. But there's no wind. <laughs> Hold on. What a lovely cabin. Wind. I'm so grateful for what you've done, I hardly know how to begin to thank you. I'm positive I could get you some sort of recompense from my government. I mean, if, if there's anything you need or that I can do, please tell me. Well, you could let me make love to you. Make love, did you say? Yes. What do you mean? You don't even know my psychocardiogram. Eh? Huh? Well, on Earth, for centuries, people haven't made love unless their psychocardiogram readings were in perfect confluence. <laughs> I know nothing of that. You ask me what you can do for me, and I told you. Well, all right. But I don't see what good it will do. Do you have any pills? Pills? Oh, never mind. I have some here. Uh, uh, what is this pill? It's an exaltation transference pellet, of course. Hmm. I know nothing of this. I see. Well, on Earth, when our psychocardiogram readings are in harmony and we wish to make love, as you call it, we take an exaltation transference pellet and remain like this. Here, let me show you for one minute or until full rapport is achieved. Ah, I don't care for that. This, this is what I mean. This, a bed. That? But nobody's done that for centuries. I mean, nobody except the very poor who can't afford the pills and the psychocardiogram readings. Why not? Because it was proved to be distracting and a danger to maximum efficiency. And, and because it was pointless to continue it when other substitutes for ego support and self-esteem were made available. So, you won't do it? Well, if you simply must insist, I guess so. But I can assure you, there's really no point at all in doing it like this. Without your uh, garments, please. Oh. 